Going to mention this quickly video that I saw, courtesy of um, Over Under again, featuring the eBay authentication team taking a look at the Off White Air Jordan Fives in sale, and basically, you know, doing the whole authentication process live in front of people. And I have to be honest, man, this looks like absolute BS. As I mentioned previously, the levels of quality that people from those replica factories out there in china are able to achieve and get is quite eerie and leads me to believe that i would imagine a lot of those replica factories are just factories that already produce the legit thing and then they go and basically take the cad files or the whatever it is and then go and manufacture it themselves you know outside of ours because it's just impossible that somebody's out there just making them reverse engineer style and then kind of stumbling across a perfect kind of tone color all that this doesn't make any sense so when they do all this nonsense like smelling the soles checking this checking that it doesn't make sense for me because i feel like they're all made in the same factory secondly i feel like the quality of nike shoes in general is super low across jordan brand across nike in general it's just not the greatest so to say that you could spot a fake based on you know imperfections of stitching of the tongue not being here this there not being that not being there when clearly there's been evidence of loads of people who have bought legit shoes from legit retailers and then they've had them look really fugazi whether or not the the cut or the finish of the swoosh wasn't where it needs to be this finish of the fabric was a bit dodgy there's been so many instances of it so this idea that you can spot fakes by doing all these weird inspections is just it just doesn't hold up for me um especially like i said when there are replica sites out there that pride themselves on selling the closest possible to retail and they even sell them sometimes closer or sometimes more than retail so that you can get them before everyone else does which is weird isn't it because you know imagine buying a pair of shoes that no one has and then trying to flex that they're real it's like come on we all know you probably bought them and they're fake but i just find it very interesting that they've kind of gone into this whole like hoopla and doing this whole pretend thing like they're all real um ebay was one of the best places to cop stuff like this because and obviously ensure that you got real stuff because back in the day when reps weren't that good or when reps were would come out later much later than the actual drop date you could almost guarantee the shoe you're getting was legit if the person that you were buying it from basically purchased them on the day and then sold them the same day on ebay or you saw them the next day that they dropped that would be the only way you could guarantee it so you'd have to buy it within a really short window maybe like a week and then after that it was all it was all hell's got you know no no holes barred basically if you buy something on ebay then after the fact you know guarantee the only other guarantee would be if you bought something directly of somebody through these facebook um groups and stuff where you would meet some boy you know there's loads of sneaker heads in your city they have a facebook group where they basically exchange information talk about shit um you know hook up deals and then maybe there through you know relationships and whatnot you could you know pinpoint some sellers who are known to only buy real stuff maybe the seller will you know um show you a receipt and because you know you, you live in the same city you'll probably be more familiar with the store be able to tell if it's real or not but it's still it's still not all you know outside of going to the retail store you're still not sure if you're buying it outside of retail you're really not sure and these days because of the nonsense games nike plays in terms of fudging the numbers and you know creating artificial scarcity there is no way of knowing how many of these shoes are actually made because people then try and make up the difference because there's so much in demand so there is no way of knowing okay cool there's only so many of these left like look at the flipping um trophy room jordans the ones that flipping Marcus Jordan, flipping back door, then he still has a job there, which is incredible to say in the least, isn't it, right? This guy makes his own Jordans, backdoors them and sells them for whatever much money he sold them for outside of a flipping hotel. Yet he's not been, you know, publicly sacked or fired from Nike or anything. That could just show how deep the corruption runs, but that's a story for another day. But yeah, I just thought all these games were a bit pointless personally for me. I'm seeing this video now on the screen of this... um young lady inspecting the the jordans and you know doing these weird inspection tests to make sure that they're authentic and i'm like there's no way to know really is no way to know the reps are so good nowadays people are so thirsty for shoes um resale micro is absolutely insane all the it, it just breeds you know for an industry where people are just gonna do some fuck shit because there's too much money to be made um unfortunately that's the position we're in at the moment, but I guess it's, it's worth a try. I guess it's worth a try.